Robins Firth wins the William Hill Grand National Trial at Haydock Park. Robins Firth, 8 1, went one better than at Haydock Park last time to land the William Hill Grand National Trial handicap chase. But the Colin Tizer train 10 year old won't bidding for more glory on Merseyside just yet as he was one of eight horses to line up in the trial not entered in the Randox Health Grand National at Aintree Racecourse. Having been a close second to Wakanda in last month's Grade 2 Peter Marsh chase at Haydock, stepped up to 3M4F, he stayed on best under Sean Bowen, who was completing a double on the day after an earlier win on Paul Nichols quelled Destin, to land a three-quarter length success over Ramses de T. Lee, 8-1. Chef Derv, 12-1, a further length and a quarter back in third, while the winner's stable mate and Grand National entrant Royal Vacation. 10-1, ran a decent trial for the big one despite finishing 28 lengths further adrift in fourth under Paddy Brennan. Connections could look at the Midlands Grand National or the Ultima Handicap Chase at the Cheltenham Festival next month for the winner for the fragile but talented Robins Firth. Joe Tizard, son and assistant trained to his father Colin, said, he's always had bags of ability, but he's very fragile. That's like his gold cup. Sean gave him a super ride. He got mugged here last time, but he timed it right today. His owners have had to be patient, but they've been rewarded today. They weren't interested in Aintree, though. Were he to run in the Scottish National he'd needed to reign, but it's almost four weeks to Cheltenham, he could run in the Ultima, Handy Kip Chase, or there is the Midlands Grand National as well. But, today has been his aim all season, though so it's brilliant. On Royal Vacation, who is a best-priced 41 with Sky Bet for the Grand National, Joe Tizard added, Royal Vacation probably traveled better than anything but just flattened out, in fourth, I'd imagine it will be entry for him. David Pipe was delighted with Ramses de T. Lee, who was runner-up again having been second to elegant escape in the Coral Welsh Grand National at Chepstow over Christmas. Although he is entered in the entry showpiece, as just a seven-year-old connections may wait before letting him line up in the world's greatest steeplechase. Ramses de Ely is a best-priced 41 with Bedford and Bidaway for the Grand National. But Pipe said, he has run very well. He has run the race of his life. He stayed on all the way to the line. He handled the better ground and it was a good effort. We will what happens, with the Grand National. Whether it is this year or next year. He will have to go and prove he stays that trip. He is only seven so there is a lot to look forward to. He hasn't always been the strongest of finishers in the past, but he had his wind done in the summer and it is working at the moment. Venetia Williams Yala Inki, another entered at Aintree, won the Grand National Trial last year, but in less testing conditions and off top weight, he was only fifth of the six finishers. But the nine-year-old could bid for glory and in the Aintree Marathon on April 6. Williams won the Grand National ten years ago with 101 shot Monmo, but Yala Inki is a best-priced 66-1 with bet 165 to give her a second success. Another horse is entered in the Grand National, Neil Mulholland's impulsive star, had to be declared a non-runner earlier in the day due to restrictions relating to the recent outbreak of equine flu. He has landed the prestigious classic chase at Warwick, won two years ago by one for Arthur before his victory at Aintree, and was a major contender for the Grand National Trial. However, under the new protocols set out by the British Horse Racing Authority, no horses are allowed to run in Britain unless they have been vaccinated within the last six months, and not in the last seven days. Mulholland was informed that Impulsive Star would not be able to take up his entry. But his stablemate and fellow Grand National entrant Carol's destroyer, who failed to complete, was cleared to run. It's basically a paperwork issue, said the Somerset based trainer. He will now head to the Cheltenham Festival for the National Hunt Chase and potentially go on to Aintree, although he looks unlikely to make the cut as he is currently 88th on the list and a maximum of 40 will go to post. The Paddy Pie, 5 1 landed a second successive victory in the William Hill leading race course bookmaker chase, novices limited handicap. Under Danny Cook, the Sue Smith trained seven-year-old beat Wild Blue Yonder, 10-1, by a length and three-quarters, 
with Warthog, 10-1, with a further seven lengths back in third. He benefited from the last fence fall of Slain Lut the last, although he was challenging the leader at the last and Jockey Cook felt he would have won anyway.